What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how you can make your own Twitch emotes for free without using any software. Whether you just got Twitch affiliate yesterday or you've been a Twitch affiliate for a while and you want Twitch emotes for your channel, this is the place to be. I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Okay, so the first thing we want to do here is we want to go to pixlr.com. That's P-I-X-L-R. Uh, this is basically a Photoshop type of website where you can edit images and create your own drawings and things like that for free, all within your browser. You don't need to download anything. And we're going to click create new here and I'm just going to do full HD 1920 by 1080p and click create and this is really nice because it starts you with a nice transparent background so now we can go ahead and draw whatever we want our emote to be on here using these tools here on the left it works just like Photoshop it just does not have all the same features as Photoshop but you you get enough here where you can make a twitch emote you can also mess with layering over here so I'm just gonna go ahead and draw something really quick that we can upload to twitch BAM boom and bang there we are that's gonna be our emo you guys okay now I recommend cropping the image that you have so I'm gonna go ahead and crop it I recommend cropping in a perfect square all right the height there is 484 so I'll make the width 484 for the crop if it all fits perfect we can click save save this as whatever we want to call it I'll just call it 2.png and download now we're not done yet if we go over to our creator dashboard and we go to preferences and then affiliate and then we go to emotes you'll see here that I already have all three of my tier one emote slots filled up right now that's why I made the two emote because we're gonna do a tier two emote right now and as you can see here you need three different file sizes. You need 112 by 112, 56 by 56, and a 28 by 28 version of that emote that you created. And you need to upload all three of them in order for it to go into the approval process. So how do you get the image you just created from the size it is to these three sizes? I personally use a website called resizeimage.net. So what you're gonna do here, once you go here, you wanna click upload an image. You wanna go ahead and find the image that you just downloaded and open it up. And then we can go down here to resize your image where it says 484 by 484, which is what we originally exported it as. We can now click and do 112 by 112. Click resize image down here. And then we have the option to download the image. And that'll go right into our downloads folder. And I recommend going up here and just doing all three of them at once. So I'll do 56 next, resize image, download, and 28, resize image, download. Okay guys, now that you've downloaded all three sizes of the image that you need, you can come back to your creator dashboard, click on 112, go ahead and find the right file. I haven't renamed mine yet, but you can rename yours if it makes it easier to find them and open. And then you wanna just do the same thing for each of the three sizes that you created. And look at that, now I have all three of the file sizes that I need. All you need to do next is you need to create a unique code for the emote that you're creating. So in this case, I'll just make it two, or I'll do T2 for tier two sub. Save changes, just like that. And look at that, you guys. It's pending, which means it's going to the approval process. And in a couple of days, Twitch will hit you up and say, your emote has been approved. And that's all you need to do. Very easy, very simple way to create your own emotes for Twitch. Okay, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope this helps you guys create your own emotes for Twitch. I hope this makes being an affiliate a little bit easier for you guys. If you made it this far, please consider subscribing and hitting that like button. I plan on doing a lot more of these tutorials in the future to help you guys with Twitch related issues. And uh, I stream myself every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday over at twitch.tv slash frothboss. Follow me there if you, you want to come and hang out. Okay, thanks guys. Have a great day.